afternoon everybody it's just after lunchtime we actually filmed all morning but camera didn't work anyways we're here the camera's working now so I'll show you guys what we're into so yeah we are field tiling this field was right here beside our house it's pretty wet it's one of the wetter fields we had this year there's 30 some acres here systematically tiled out this part of it already got done with that end of it working on this end of it this morning I brought that tractor there down here pull the tile plow which is what dad's doing with those thought we were going to need both but we ended up not needing it it's still down here man you guys missed a great cold start video see so yeah, that's what we got going on down here today that's why the Steiger's here that's why the quad's here now they're using a tile plow being pulled with the squad tractor here Basically, they got a receiver on the track, plow, receiver on the tractor, and that receiver using RTK to keep grade. So that's what's making sure that the tile is the same grade to flow, to drain water. Maybe we're on take two in here, but uh, <laughs> first time didn't work. Uh, I'm in here in the, tile, in the tractor with Robbie. This is Robbie Roll. He's the guy that owns the, the tile plow and the equipment. Uh, Robbie, what kind of tile plow you got here, and how, how, does, how does it work? It's a Soil Max. Um, as far as I'm concerned, it's as good as, they make a new one now that's supposed to pull easier, but I don't know that it does or don't, I haven't tried it. I've had this in probably eight, ten years, uh, worked out very good for us. So with it, you can put in, what, eight inch pipe or? Well, they make a ten inch boot, but I only have, I have a four, six, and an eight. Okay, well, around here, that seems to do the trick pretty well, doesn't it? Yeah, most of the time, eight will do you whatever you need to do. That's that's a lot of acres to put in. And if we need to run more, we just run another eight. Trouble with 10 inch and on bigger, it, it's, a, it's a doggone expensive. This ain't Minnesota, folks. We can get away with that. We don't live in the land of lakes. So that cart that he drives alongside you, is it you know, something that turns or is it just turning off of uh, tension? Or? It's just from the tension of the, of the pipe, turns it. Yeah, okay. it's not hydraulic, they can turn it over. Okay. Uh, Now, right here, the fellow in the hole, he'll have to manually attach that to the main, then, correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, when they do that, how do they do that and attach you yeah, the tile to, to you or to the plow? Well, it goes through the boot. Uh huh. You'll just feed that right through there. Then, that little piece sitting up there on the bank right there, that's called a. I don't know what that guy's doing rolling around on the ground. <laughs> That's called a tap T, that's what that's called. So you drill a hole and that goes in it. And then if we were hooking four to four, we use a T. But don't ask me why they call that a tap T, but I guess that's what they call it. Robbie, what are those tubes right there? Looks like PVC pipe on there. That kind of gives me an indication as to what the grade is. Oh, okay, the level. level. Yeah, see that plow, controls depth by just by tipping it. Uh -huh. The heel versus the front end. Yep. So this ground right here is just greasy enough we just can't get any traction just spinning out. And that's, why, that's why we got the dozer tugging us around. Weight. Weight over horsepower. That seems to be the uh, seems to be the ticket. Right now you're just pre-ripping, is that what you call yeah, this? Yeah, that's what we're doing, just pre-ripping, making it pull a little easier. So I don't have to rip up the whole thing as we're going. I gotta go back down to here anyway, so I might as well be doing something while I'm going. Yeah, so like right now there's no tile going in, like I said, just opening the ground up. We're doing some tillage. We reckon our acres an hour are. Shit, I do what? <laughs> we reckon our acres in that one shank. Oh, that'll be a while. Uh, with this plow, like this is what keeps you on grade, right? This model. Right. Yes. Yeah. So it, as your this runs the plow, this runs the tractor. Okay. So that's a Pro 700, which yes. is what comes in most yes. any case tractor. But what's what's this model called? Agridrain's the company, but I don't know. Okay. Other than that. Yeah. But 
Basically, that thing is constantly keeping that plow at a certain level as we go through the field automatically, right? Yes. Okay. That's a lot better than how, if me and Dad were doing this with a backhoe, first off, it'd be a backhoe, it'd be a lot slower, but we'd be walking around with the transit, beep, 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 and it probably wouldn't drain at all. <laughs> but this seems to do a pretty good job. Which one of these lines is our contour that we're going to be following? Now, the blue line, the blue line right, right here at the bottom is tells you what each one of those do. Okay. The grade is this little checker mark, but the red will lay the pipe in behind that blue line. Okay, so the red is the actual what's installed? Where yes, it's at. yes. Well, that, that is, uh, and the blue is where it's supposed to be. Yes. Theoretically, they should be right on top of it. There should be. That red one, I should not see any red. So this is the stuff that they're putting in. This is the tile. As you can see, it's corrugated. These little holes let water go down in it. Use that to help take water away from the field, get it to the stream so that the field can stay drier so we can farm it easier. You guys are still in our tiling. One thing that I filmed earlier this week that also had no sound on the audio was us starting to reorganize the shop. You probably can't even tell now, but all this has been reorganized and went through, cleaned up, swept under. Um, I think I have a time lapse from it, so we'll cue that. But no video clips I have have any sound. Okay, so dad's down there pulling them around with the dozer. I'm gonna work a little bit up here. The way we're cleaning the shop out, we're not gonna probably tackle the whole thing right now. We just don't have the time. We've got a few other shop projects we need to get done this winter. So we're just gonna clear out what we can. Right now, I'm gonna try to clear off this cart. Baby steps. Now also, hasn't been a lot of content this week because last week, I was on vacation. So while I was on vacation, Dad BJ did this. They filmed some of it. So we're just gonna cue last week's footage now. It's Tuesday, 3.25 p.m. Brian's been going since Friday evening on vacation and Dad and I are just kind of wandering aimlessly. We might actually try to do some work I doubt it, but we're going to at least make an attempt. Them things, when they get stuck, they're boogered. Guess I should tell you, today's project is we're putting on uh, different nozzles on the new Oxbow sprayer. Um, that's the nozzle that we use to put 28 on, right? Yep. Seven and, streamers. And uh, they just kind of twist on. As you can see, some of us work harder than others. So how's the weather down there? Uh, it's like 80 yesterday. It must be 80 today. It's sunshine. I wonder what the guys are doing back home. All right, just to prove that we are doing something this week when Brian's not here, uh, Dad and I are fabricating a portable table I guess you would call it to put the new combine and pump on. Build a platform. Mom's supervising. Brian's not here, so somebody's gonna be in charge, right? We've already screwed up and cut too short, so we're gonna have to do some modifications. You see who's got the helmet on. I've tried this before, I'm not very good. Maybe we get this thing built, we have some steel left there, or I'll try again.
hope you guys can see this because uh, the camera just spent about 15 20 minutes outside the trench of Danforth. Sorry. Well, my welding's not too pretty. Huh? I said my welding job's not too pretty. DJ's gonna do this welding here. Hmm. Keep calm as yourself, hold, folks. Hold, hold your hand down on it, push that down. So you get tacked. All we're doing is tacking this plate down there. Well, it's, it's uh, they call it, uh, no, well, they call it BJ. Stretch steel? Uh, it's, yeah, something like that. Stretch steel, I forget what they call it. Roll steel. Uh, yeah, there's a term for it. But anyway, we're just tacking it here. And uh, you're going to go through the middle, tack it through there every once in a while. Probably need to go on the other side, get that side for it, because it can warp up. It gets hot, but it ain't going to get that hot. Well, I don't think this is anything to be proud of as far as the welding goes, but got to start somewhere, I guess. A couple of them don't look bad, and then eight or ten of them look absolutely horrible. Oh, well, you get there one of these days. This is one of those things that I've never really made myself do i guess yeah i thought it was pretty funny when i got home from jamaica and my brother had more of a sunburn than i did flash he got burnt from welding well dad called they finished this field went to a field across the road from our house and apparently they need a pull they didn't take the dozer across the road we would have had to technically haul it so uh looks like we're gonna get the tractor tractor muddy Trying to find the least roughest way out of here. I guarantee it, Dad's ticked. Got his side by side muddy. Gonna be the cameraman for a little bit. Or let me pull it, and you do it. Well, that sucks. We're down to the last 30 feet. I don't know if we're gonna get it. The worst part is, tractor's stuck now. I mean, it, it's stuck stuck, so. Yeah, might have to go get the dozer and the excavator. We're gonna try it one more time, see how that goes.
Well, I guess that worked. <laughs> All right, well, that was exciting, but the guys, they did get done with the tiling project. Uh, it's like a 400 yard run. We might have them do if they're still here tomorrow, but I think they are heading out. So. That's exciting, that should make those fields much more uh, productive. And yeah, tiling's not something that happens a lot in this area. Um, just looking at YouTube and Instagram, it definitely doesn't happen here as much as it does in other places, but there is some that happens nonetheless every year. But would like to thank Robbie Roll. I don't think he has a name for his tiling business, but thanks Robbie for coming out here and getting this knocked out so quick. Two days, in and out, done, boom, thank you. And yeah, that's the it. That's the end of this one, guys. And we'll see you in the next one.